In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff. Be forewarned by Pentagram. What's going on? My name is Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thanks for checking out the video. Let's get right into it. We are in C sharp standard tuning. So grab your racks, tune down, and let's do this. The first phrase is all on the open string and really establishes that psychedelic groove it's i'm using straight alternate picking so one two one two the whole time next phrase of the riff adds in another octave here on the seventh fret of the third string Third phrase sounds like he holds this seventh fret down and lets it ring. Last phrase, we're going to add in that high octave ninth fret on the first string, and it just goes in triplets. So to play this, I'm doubling up my first finger for the open and then that first octave. Last time we play the riff, he's gonna throw in a few more of those high octaves on the ninth fret. Riff number two comes in at 48 seconds. Gonna start here on the fifth fret, the low string. We're gonna catch the octave here, seventh fret on the second string. From there, we're gonna add a little five, three, five. Last time we play that phrase, instead of this five, three, five, we're gonna stay on the high octave here, seventh fret, second string. That's going to take us back to the root note on the open string. From there, we're going to do this kind of seven, five, six, seven, this really cool chromatic, really psychedelic groove. This last time we play, we just five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Sometimes it sounds like he does this galloping rhythm on the seventh fret. But either way, sounds awesome. Here's the whole thing, nice and slow. So good. Riff number three comes in at one minute, 10 seconds, starts on the third fret on the low string, and we're gonna keep that same groove going. From there, we're gonna go fifth fret on the third string and do the octave here, seventh fret on the first string. Then we're going to go back to the low string and walk up to the third fret. Walk back up to that third fret. Here's those things together. Here's riff number two all the way through.
That one's got a lot of moving pieces. Here, here it is one more time. Really fun to play. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Thank you so much. Your support means the world to me and makes all these lessons happen. Riff number four comes in at one minute, 58 seconds. And this one is so cool, just keeps churning. The first phrase starts on the low string. It's gonna go open, three, seven, then up to the seventh fret on the third string. Next phrase starts on the third fret of the low string, jumps up to the sixth fret. This sounds so cool. Sixth fret, third fret, second fret. Next phrase, fifth fret on the low string. Gnarly. Then the riff ends the same way it begins with this open three, seven, seven. Here's the full thing. Riff number five comes in at two minutes, 42 seconds, and we're really outlining two chords. The first chord starts here, fifth fret on the third string, and then we're gonna go up to the seventh fret on the third string. In between those chords, we're gonna outline the octave. Here's the first measure, just gonna be single notes. Next measure, back down to the fifth fret. This time, we're going to walk down the pentatonic scale, starting 9th fret, 9-7 on the first string, then 9-7-5 on the next on the second string, then we're back to that 5th fret. Here's what we have so far. The first part of the riff ends with a 7-5 on the low string. This brings us into the guitar solo. It starts out the same. Next part, full arpeggio on the fifth fret. Then we jump up to the seventh fret and pretty much the same thing. We're just gonna play the ninth fret on the high string twice. We play the riff a few times during the guitar solo. Here it is one time, nice and slow. Just before I play through the end at full speed, just want to thank you for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. YouTube loves that. And then we'll show this to other people who love Pentagram just like we do. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.